गर्व के साथ म्यांमार के साथ हमारी सीमा जो खुली सीमा है नरेंद्र मोदी सरकार ने निर्णय करा है कि भारत म्यांमार सीमा को हम बाढ़ से सुरक्षित करेंगे और पूरी सीमा पर बांग्लादेश की तर्ज पर बाढ़ लगाने का काम करेंगे और म्यांमार के साथ हमारा फ्री आवाजाही का जो एग्रीमेंट है ये एग्रीमेंट पर भी भारत सरकार पुनः विचार कर रही है और अब आने जाने की ये सहूलियत को ही भारत सब भारत सरकार बंद करने जा रही है All right, let's go across to Ratnadeep now for more. And Ratnadeep, a very significant statement from the Home Minister because this has been an issue that has, uh, you know, become a, a quite a big problem and a challenge for the state given the trouble in Myanmar and how many people have been crossing over. This is a very significant move because of the situation uh, that has uh, developed in Myanmar uh, ever since the coup which has taken place in Myanmar and in fact uh, all along the Indo-Myanmar border uh, right from Arunachal Pradesh to Mizoram there, are, there is a 1600 kilometer long border and it is a porous border. Now uh, uh, you know all this while you had the free uh, move regime for about 16 kilometers where people from both sides could enter. Now what center is trying to do is to cancel the free movement regime but uh, something which has been opposed uh, by uh, Mizoram Chief Minister Lal Duhoma, his uh, argument has been that on both sides of the border you have communities uh, who uh, have uh, strong linkages, they speak same language, they are from the same community uh, and therefore it, it won't be uh, uh, correct to uh, you know, uh, abolish the free uh, movement regime and he had requested center not to do it but uh, it was the Manipur government after the recent Manipur uh, ethnic violence, Manipur Chief Minister and Biren Singh uh, who had first requested center that the free uh, move, uh, movement regime should be abolished given the fact that the Manipur government has been claiming that armed uh, miscreants and militants from Myanmar have been part of uh, attacking uh, security forces and civilians in Manipur. Therefore, it seems that center is now uh, all set to uh, abolish uh, the uh, free movement regime. Uh, however, what is also significant to note that uh, you know, center has decided to fast track uh, the fencing of the Indo-Myanmar border uh, in, uh, in line with how center had uh, in past uh, you know, fence the Indo-Bangladesh border. Now, uh, that would mean that there would be barbed wire fence which would be uh, erected. Uh, one has to see whether, like the Bangladesh border, India decides to leave, uh, you know, uh, a bit, uh, some land uh, uh, from the zero line of the border uh, to uh, erect the fences because at the Indo-Bangladesh border, India has left about 150 yard land uh, from the zero line of the border and the uh, fence is in the Indian side. Now, if they follow the same mechanism in Northeast, that would be a little difficult given the uh, terrain. But we'll have to see how, whether that fence will come up on the zero line or there will be uh, some uh, land which India would leave. Uh, that would be something to be uh, looked forward to. But fast tracking of the fencing of the border is a major decision which today Union Home Minister Amit Shah has announced at the passing out parade of the uh, uh, newly inducted commandos right. of the uh, Assam Police who have been trained uh, by uh, Indian Army. This is it's in itself a very unique event to which uh, the uh, Home Minister said that he was looking forward to it given the fact that uh, the, with decline of insurgency in Northeast, right. uh, particularly in Assam, uh, you know, there has been a rollback uh, of Armed Forces Special Power Act and in several uh, districts and now instead of armed forces the police commandos will take over however right uh, all right thanks so much ratnadi for joining us there so amit shah making a very significant statement saying that they will fence the border with myanmar the way india has a border fenced with bangladesh